This was just like an initiation for me to be like, welcome back, Nash. Now it's time for you to live your life, you know, like an, a little initiation for me and myself. So somebody was asking previously on some videos, like, what did, what do my tattoos mean? Like, is it like uh, what was she even saying? She she was meaning some funny thing, like, is it a ritual or whatever? Like, not a ritual that I'm meaning, like my own ritual. She was meaning something that is funny. I don't remember it though, but. She was asking what it means now. There is nothing that it means. These are my kids' names, both my children. Like, this is Abinash, this is Adash, right? And I've always wanted to have my kid's name on me, you know? And since I got it, my, my father, you know, by the way, says, there is nothing that you're going to go with when you leave this world. You just go the way you came, except the tattoos that you have on your body. He has one. So he's like, that is the only thing that you're going to go with. But the rest is nothing to you. You get so this is why I feel like at least I'm gonna go with my children, you know. <laughs> my children's names written on me. And then this one is um it is a Lord Shiva sign, but it means peace, it means life, it means something else. Yeah, but to me I did it because it means peace to me. It also means life, it also has so many meanings, but to me it means peace, that is why I had it. And it has Om. Om is like a peaceful thing that uh, the, the Hindi religion uses, but you can maybe search on it. And this is a trinset, trinset or whatever it is called, and a drum. This is a Lord Shiva, Lord Shiva's favorite thing. And I love Lord Shiva, of course. So that is why I had it. Basically, to me, it means peace. It doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it means peace. So yes, I had it, I had these ones and then I feel like, okay, now I'm welcoming my old self back and I feel so good about myself, you know, and now I'm just living a life to, you know, please myself, make money, <laughs> take care of my family, of course, raise my kids. I want to see my kids grow, guys. I want to see my kids grow. I want to see my kids get girlfriends. I want to, I don't know. It is just a lot, but yes, I want to be a very nice mother mother-in-law whatever ha huh, why am i even talking about this why i came here today to talk to you guys is i've spent so many days without us talking about stuff so i felt like you know what let's talk let's have a little chit chat so yes i've been having leggings for the past one and a half months and i feel like i'm tired i miss jeans <laughs> i miss jeans because to me jeans i've tried dresses quite um a few times but i feel like they are not my thing so i give out all my dresses i don't have any i left with one dress that i i was putting on i think i think the second day i got the belly piercing and i didn't like it but it has it is healing it is so okay now i, I think i can use jeans but i feel like i'm not okay yet mentally to use jeans because I feel if I sit, I don't want to hurt myself or maybe go back to the process of healing again. But it is healing. It is almost done. It takes one year to heal like completely. But yeah, I feel like the wound is dry, like completely. So um, anyway, um, last Saturday, when we, Sunday, when we went to the supermarket to buy stuff, people were saying, I mean, my, my family were saying they miss eating uh, mutton. So we got mutton from there and that is what we're going to be cooking with you guys, obviously. My house is clean, Rose is working, so let us start the day together. And you guys, I'm so happy that you guys have been supporting me from day one. Please don't give up on me, right? Let's go cook. This time around we got a bit big size of the onions so we are not going to be needing uh, more onions like too much onions to make ma to cook the mutton so we're going to be using only three onions because we only have a half kilo or of uh, mutton and then I'm also going to be adding potatoes in there like two potatoes so the curry will be enough and the three onions will be enough for that because they are huge this time around and things are so expensive 
and i don't know i stopped buying stuff from the market i stopped going to the market myself like the way i used to go previously i think you guys remember i used to go every saturday right so i stopped doing that and we've been buying things from the supermarket and i feel so bad because the supermarkets are so expensive guys compared to the market like the local market and it is so hurting when i when i see like we're spending all this money on food and you know okay like this food that i can get from the market you know the local market but at times i'm like uh i stopped going to the, the market like the local market so i have no option than get this stuff from the supermarket right but this little money that is more like it's extra really makes me feel so bad about myself but then I will see whether I can resume going to the local market or not or something like that but I feel like I don't want to go there anymore I don't know why but I feel like you know once I'm done with something I don't want to go back to that thing right so anyway uh, we are peeling the three onions now and then we are going to be adding a half a tomato in this little mutton that we have like the half kilo because uh, usually for them they don't have, add too much tomatoes in um, non veg right so let us continue with the cooking
sister. You guys know the process that I use to make mutton curry, so I don't think you guys will. Anyway, I'm just going to shoot what I can shoot, right? Because I don't want the video to be so, so long. So, yes, we're going to use a pressure cooker because we need to whistle the mutton so that it can get so, so soft, right? And since we have a half kilo, I think this uh, saucepan is enough. Like, the pressure cooker is enough to cook it. So, here you can see the onions are already cut, and we're going to be using uh, mustard oil. Um, I don't know, lately my husband is wanting to use a lot of mustard oil like rather than than the refined oil they call it refined oil like the sunseed oil which we use here right in uganda so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to fast fry the potatoes that you saw rose washing uh just fry them in a little bit of oil fry them a little bit because you and then you don't peel them because you don't want them to break while you're pressure cooking them like in the um in the goat meat or mutton right so we're going to fry it a little bit and then we shall take it out and start up the process I will be adding in a spoon of garlic and ginger paste as usual but i'm gonna be adding in a bigger spoon because this is mutton okay so we don't need a little bit of the garlic and ginger paste so this much is enough if it was my mother-in-law i think she would have put the hole that is remaining in the jar you can't imagine but yes that is enough for me because my husband doesn't like a lot of uh spice like i don't know how to explain it but he doesn't like a lot of garlic and ginger in his food even though that is how his mother cooks so you know these boys when they grow up you know they can put rules on their wives and everything but they can't do that to their mom so when his mom cooks it he will eat it but he will complain a little bit but then because i know what he really wants to eat like what he likes in his food i think that is why you know i cook it according to what he wants right and then i don't know once you get married guys you kind of want to always cook what your partner 
likes more than what you like i don't know whether it is only me or it is every other woman that is married but i remember my mom whenever she used to cook as well she used to get like the very nice parts for her husband you know i think this is what they always install in us anyway so here we are we have we are done with cooking the garlic and ginger paste So guys, um, after adding in all the spices and everything, I had to let it cook for about 30 minutes and then after that I added some water like to make the soup and everything and I wanted to pressure cook it for about 5 to 6 whistles but unfortunately my pressure cooker lid is not working guys so I could not pressure cook it what I did I had to just cover it and cook it for hours like hours because I wanted it to get soft and then it can just get soft in a minute or something like that so I cooked it for hours I didn't shoot that because I was feeling so furious at that moment moment because why wouldn't my lid work so here it is done and i'm garnishing it with uh, coriander leaves and we're going to cover it and let it be there till lunch time so this is the next day guys and now i've come to the kitchen i'm making for myself some chai some tea and that is what i'm going to be having plus an egg and omelet because i feel like having an omelet today yeah and uh, rose is going to be having omelet as well we don't have bread in the house and yeah so it is a uh, thursday and uh, trust me everything is done in the house like here i'm going to make for myself omelette i'm going to add onion and tomato right because basically right now in the house there is nothing like everything is finished today is a thursday imagine everything is finished by a thursday these boys <laughs> and i'm so happy these days at least even though they eat little but they are trying their best right so i'm so happy about that at least um so i got done with my bath I'm taking a bath i got done with everything you know organizing the bedrooms and everything so i'm just making breakfast for myself and then yeah 